Oh, hey. <laughs> Didn't see you there. Um, a little bit different of a video today. I want to ask, why do you like the styles you like? Because for the past year or so, I've been really thinking about why do I like the fashion taste like tech wear and, you know, more posh street wear and like, I don't know, like vintage wear. Like, why do I like it? Why am I appealed to that aesthetic? And so I think this would be a really cool video to do to hear my subscribers and my viewers' opinion on why they like their style, you know? And so in the comments down below, hopefully there can be uh, a really good discovery of and conversation about why you guys like what you like. Oh my God. Okay, so basically uh, this video, uh, I'm going to explain my point of view and try to explain the theory on why I like what I like, why I like tech wear, why I like cyberpunk fashion or I don't know, whatever weird, like, I don't know the name for whatever streetwear style I like, this stuff. But basically, I just wanna see how well my reasons correlate with your guys' and see if there's any overlaps or, you know, any different reasons. So anyways, yeah. Oh my God. So basically, it kind of started back in late 2015, early 2016. I was on Tumblr, okay? I was a Tumblr boy. And basically, I was coming across all these super, super cool photos of like Y3, Yoji Yamamoto, Rick Owens, and all these other really cool designers that kind of had like a dark edgier, avant-garde style to them. So, it was 2017, right? And I've already discovered like these really cool like futuristic brands and kind of like more modern cuts and things that I've never seen before. Um, and I don't know, I just, that year I just had like a really weird like fashion aesthetic identity crisis where I didn't know what to wear, how to wear it, or what I even liked. And so 2017 fits were pretty, pretty god awful. So anyways, it was in this moment that I realized that fashion is just one huge cycle that recycles everything over and over and over again. So basically, uh, let's say, oh, the 80s are in, right? The 80s are trendy again. Like everything, you know, the colors, the prints, whatever, okay? You know, and then it's like, oh, what are we gonna do next? How about, how about early 90s, you know? And after early 90s, now it's late 90s, and you know, it's just like, oh wow, I wonder what's gonna come on the plate next early 2000s, right? Well, shocker, we're here. You know, so I just found that really, really lazy. And because you don't need to be like a fashion visionary to see what's going to be popular in a couple years. Just look at what happened in the couple years after what's trendy right now. So basically, uh, maybe in two years, 2009, fashion will be like popping again, you know, like LMAO, you know, whatever this, you know, the black eyed peas and stuff like this, you know, like that stuff. And uh, yeah, it was just kind of disappointing. I think I'm going to go find a new park because this is very awkward with a ton of people around. And there's like wedding photographers sitting around me. So we're leaving. So after a while of kind of figuring out that a ton of people are just are wearing kind of old clothing from decades ago, just kind of revamped just a little bit, you know, I just kind of got bored of that. So I think that was really one of my main draws to tech wear, cyberpunk fashion, technical clothing in general, is because generally speaking, it focuses more on the future, especially like the fabric science. Um, it just really focuses on the future more, way more than the past. And by no means am I saying that tech wear or cyberpunk fashion never takes any influence from the past because clearly it does. Tech wear pulls heavily from military gear from World War I through today. I think generally speaking, it focuses more on what clothing could be rather than what clothing was slash is. You know what I'm saying here? Hopefully. Another thing I want to touch on is like, I am by no means against wearing vintage clothing or retro style clothing. Um, I do it a lot with my streetwear looks as well. Like my, jo my favorite Jordans, it's a very like 1980s looking sneaker, but I still love them. They're my favorites. And like, I wear my Air Force Ones all the time. That's pretty much a 1970s sneaker. 
and it hasn't really changed at all since then. And I still wear it with like streetwear stuff or even wear it with like, you know, cyberpunk tech wear stuff. And, you know, I think it's very important to look back at what was developed before and then base it off of that and improve upon that. Like, for example, like Velcro, think about how many pieces of clothing and bags have Velcro. Okay. That was designed for the army you know and then it was bought by a corporation made um for normal people to buy and there we go now we have velcro and made clothing a lot cooler it made clothing have more possibilities than everything because of velcro but it's just really cool to think about all those advancements um in clothing and i just think it's very fascinating to think about where clothing and fabric science will be in 20 30 years from now I'll give everyone the benefit of the doubt is when they do pull fashion from the past, they definitely do improve upon it, in my opinion. Um, so they're doing it in a way that is very similar to what um, fabric scientists are doing, where they're taking clothing and, and fabrics and they're improving upon them, making them more functional and more ergonomic and everything. Um, more stylish. And the same thing is with the people who redo uh, and reuse like 90s fashion is you know they tweak a little bit change a little bit maybe they style it a little bit differently and everything which I think is really cool um, hey guys welcome back to the channel today I'm going to be doing a styling and reviewing of a, the Luke Skywalker X-Wing and Snowspeeder helmet um, I'm just kidding of course um, as I have done a whole dedicated video on how being a Star Wars fan has influenced my style, I just want to briefly touch on it in this video because I definitely think it's part of the equation. Um, basically, uh, just growing up and being kind of uh, surrounded by this like fantasy world that's kind of uh, very futuristic but it does have some like dystopian grittiness to it, um, I think definitely helped influence my uh, fashion sense a little bit and maybe maybe more inclined to dress a little bit more funky, I guess. I don't know. Maybe that that could be a stretch, but um, yeah, basically I'm going to link that video I did down in the description below. Probably actually one of my favorite videos I've ever done, but basically just in this video, uh, the only point I need to get across is that Star Wars being a gritty kind of little bit dystopian, like futuristic world, uh, I just think kind of wore off me a little bit and kind of, kind of bled into my fashion sense but anyways go check out that one video if you haven't already it's really one of my favorites so so hopefully i explained in enough detail kind of the whole tech work thing but i think basically it can be summed up into i think it looks really cool and i like wearing it um which i know is very simple and i feel like i might have just wasted a bunch of your time um to basically say i think it looks sick and i feel really cool wearing it um because I, I can try and justify like the whole like, oh, well, if it's light drizzle and I'm walking across my college campus, you know, it'll help protect me dry when in reality, a, like a hoodie will be just fine. Um, but it's just like the, the motivation behind the fashion that I think is really, really interesting. I really hope the wind isn't too bad. I have like the uh, um, wind protector on the microphone, but um yeah, I mean, it just, we've had a huge storm roll through. I'm in the desert now. Um, in Moab, Utah. Very cool. Recommend you guys come out here. It's like my fourth time coming out. Anyways. So, I don't really have as good of an explanation on why I like my streetwear fits um, as, like, my techwear fits. Um, but really, I th think it just kind of boils down to the really laid-back, casual nature of it and i just really like kind of the washed out colors and tones um and yeah it, it, i think it's just like a sense of like really laid back that i like about kind of the streetwear fits so uh i don't know anyways guys i hope you enjoyed that video and i will see you in one pretty soon hopefully this wasn't like a dumb video but yeah please in the comments down below like type up like a brief paragraph or something on kind of why you like your style. And I just think it's really fascinating. I would love to hear it um, just so we can all kind of compare notes and just, you know, do that. So anyways, I will see you in a video pretty soon. So.